Well, let's talk about Lopez now, Benji. Abandons the race. They say the Astana Twitter, it seemed to have the tweet like drafted Benji already, saying he had an issue with his leg that he picked up, an injury, a tear, two days before the Giro. First of all, Benji, do you believe this? Do you believe he's injured? Because he didn't know KTT. Second of all, if he is, should he have started? Well, they at least lied at some point because I swear I saw an article on Willer Flitz just before the Giro started. Lopez stated through a press conference that he was in top form for the Giro. He's either lying now about the injury or was lying then about the top form. Now, I can understand back then that you'd be like, let's hide this injury just so that it isn't like obvious that he's injured for the competition and so forth. If he's injured now, I, I dare to believe I think yes so. for the... Uh, I, I just have an issue with not believing riders on their words a lot of the time. Though, like, there's a lot of riders that say sh- bullshit, but, like, about injuries, I'm not going to be the guy that says, oh, nah, man, your your hip is not hurt. Come on, show me a picture in the operation room. I gotta see it. Pixar didn't happen. Nah, I can't say that. But about the uh, whether he should have started, that's a good question. Uh, I'm obviously not a doctor, but if it's to the point where couldn't move his leg or couldn't pedal anymore because of the tear in the muscle, well, then it's probably a pretty uh, serious injury, unless it's something that got expanded over the last couple of days, in which then, yeah, then that might not have been obvious beforehand. Yeah, I think it's true, because he got dropped or got in the car. It's not like he got dropped on Etna on a bad day and then was like, actually, I'm injured. It was in the, out of the neutral zone, it seems. So, yeah, he's probably injured. And, I don't know, Vinokurov came out recently, I think, and said their finances are all sorted. Lopez has a two-year deal until 2023. So I've seen no reason why he wouldn't want to continue. He crashed out of the Giro in 20. 20 can't remember which one and yeah there was stage nine blockhouse other stages that really suited him here hopefully he gets right and he comes back for uh tour de france the grenon out the west stages he will be absolutely lethal but yeah not good for astana benji dombrowski not in the break nibali got dropped hopefully he got well maybe that's a blessing he can go for stages now surely freed of pretending to go for gc but yeah it's it's tough with Lopez. You remember he – I used to call him really consistent. From 2017, he went Vuelta 8th, Giro 3rd, Vuelta 3rd, Giro 7th, Vuelta 5th, Tour de France 6th, although on the Planche de Belfi TT, he went from 3rd to 6th, one of the worst TTs ever in 2020. And then he's gone DNF Giro, where he crashed in the TT, 21 Tour DNF, 20, like last year, DNF. I uh, can't remember what happened. I think he came in undercooked and rode his domestic for Mars, and then last year of Welter and Movistar. We all know what happened there. Uh, what's going on with Lopez, Benji? What would you do if you were a starner with him? Would you build him up for Tour de France GC? They don't really have many other options. Yeah, they don't have many options, but I'm also curious about whether he's already getting paid or not, because that probably has an influence as well on the state of these riders and their willingness to do everything that the team tells them to do, you know, I would guess. Yeah, and I I think they're going to go for Lutschenko a little bit and he probably won't get much support. I reckon he'll just go. If I was him, I'd go for a stage win uh, on Grenon and a Tour de France stage win, even if you're not doing well in GC, is more than enough to keep you going and your career going into the future. But anyway, that was Lopez. A really big shame. I really liked him for some stages. Thanks, as always, to Zwift for supporting the Lantern Recycling podcast. As I've said, they make your online cycling training fun they have for benji and myself if you want to check out zwift you can go to zwift.com for a free seven day trial through the link down below and maybe follow them on instagram as well to be kept abreast of the news happening with zwift which there's some pretty big news coming this year with zwift 